it looks like it looks like a cooked apple with like a mushy center. Okay. Are you ready? I am. Yes, I'm ready. I'm ready to taste another amazing Vietnamese food. Yeah, I'm ready. I'm ready, I'm ready. I'm ready. Yeah. Wow. Oh, this one. Okay. <laughs> Can you guess? Can you tell what food it is? It looks like a very little watermelon. I think we've come across each other. <laughs> um, okay, let's have a look. It looks like it looks like a cooked apple with like a mushy center. I know that like from the last episodes, I know that fruits in Vietnamese it's not what other world world meant fruits. So I'm really a bit scared for this episode to try. Oh, this looks like guava. Yeah, it's guava. Oh, it is. Yeah. Oh, I thought it was a sour melon. No, oh, it's boiled guava. It's really, surprisingly, it's not salty fruit, yeah. <laughs> okay. It, it, it tastes like a cooked apple. It, it tastes like it looks, with a bit of salt on it. <laughs> it tastes like the food for baby kids, like like from zero to three years old, they usually sell it in some like cans or like vacuum packs, so it tastes like this. The texture is soft, it's very soft, it's very slimy, I didn't know. That gives a different perspective, puts a different perspective on it. I don't like cooked fruit, so oh. that's probably like the downfall side of it, like I love guava. Maybe because it's, it's boiled, that's why it's so soft. Yeah, I think it's if it will be like the natural fruit, it can be like more like crunchy, more hard, but mm, I like this. Mm, it, I don't feel a lot of sweet. Why you should, why you should mix sweet and salt? Um, I wouldn't understand why people would want to boil guava personally. <laughs> Mm, not the best mixture, yeah. The taste with the salt has a, makes it taste really differently, like really spicy. It brings out like a, a more flavor in the guava. Without the, the salt, it would be not so nice. But I think the salt makes it really nice. I, I would give it a three. If you like cooked fruit, this could be amazing. Uh, However, not so much for me, so not amazing. I would say like it's 5 out of 10. I would say it's not something amazing that really like blow up your tongs. Uh, 10, I would probably give it a 3.5. No, not amazing. I'm so sorry guys with this one. Okay. Oh, wow, wow, something in it. Mm. Surprisingly, I know what is this, really. Yeah. Do you like banana in general? Uh, not when they're overly ripe. Sorry, I'm a bit fussy with my fruit. I like bananas, but not overly ripe because they get too sweet. It's something like banana, but banana that tastes like strawberry or apple or like mixture with fruits. Um, in Africa, our bananas are much bigger. <laughs> I hope that red. Yeah, we need to clean it. Mm -hmm. 
I hope it will have a strawberry taste in it because I see some red parts. It smells like plantain, which is okay. It's a bit harder. It's not what I expected. That's so weird. It doesn't taste or feel like a banana. I don't know how to describe the taste, but it has nothing with fruits. The texture, it's, it, the texture is quite, it's thick. It's dense, yeah. Um, but it's also soft to eat, even though it's, it's quite thick. It's also still soft. Just a teeny tiny bit of sweetness. I feel like <clears throat> it's a banana that has lost like 90% of its sweetness. Not too much sugar, but would be a good healthy snack that you could take with you on the day. And then like um, also it's juiciness, so it's not very juicy. It's more like chewy. All in all, maybe mm, the some like aftertaste is nice. I can feel some banana notes, but it's not banana. And if you boil it, then um, it won't continue to rot um, in your lunchbox or whatever. So I think yeah, it's a pretty good, a nice snack. I would, I would give it a solid five. It is amazing though. It's leaning more to the amazing side. Four out of ten. Not amazing. Drum roll, please. Boop, 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 boop. Seven, amazing. You no know potpourri. Okay. I'm opening more Thai by. Wow. Amberella. <laughs> Amberella. Yes, it's again, it smells not like a fruit. Fruits are sweet. So remember this, fruits are sweet, vegetables are salty. So two rules. I've never seen these before. See, this is why I love Asia. I'm always discovering new things. Yes, it really smells like a fruit in marinade. I don't know how to describe the smell. They smell a bit like pickles. Oh, pickles, yeah. That's so weird. <clears throat> it's crunchy like an apple, but it tastes like a pickled onion. It tastes like a cucumber, like what, some sorts of cucumbers. The taste from the pickle is actually quite sweet. And the taste from the, the flavored salt is quite salty. So they do a mix and it gives like a nice little flavorful fruit. It's really juicy, and then the salt just makes it even juicier because like you start salivating. That's nice. It has some sort of like strong taste if you bite it a lot. Amberella. Oh, that makes a lot of sense. I like it. It's this. This for me, in terms of fruit, is a solid, amazing eight. Like, yeah, with the salt and this like mixture of spices, it opens up some little spices in it. I liked it. I really like it. I like it more than the banana <laughs> or the plantain. Oh, amazing. Solid. I think I will rate this uh, fruit. Yeah, fruit. Six out of ten. Still not amazing. I think it's the best one. Um, this is definitely a nine. Absolutely amazing. All right, thank you so much for joining me and hopefully I'll see you next time. Thank you for watching me. I hope you enjoyed it. Have a nice evening. Yeah. Goodbye. That's the end of the episode, guys. Goodbye. Watch the show. We'll see you again. <laughs>